What's up, guys? Hello. So we are currently making the breakfast. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's gonna be eggs, some tortillas right here. We're gonna go in that pan. And then we got some jalapenos over there and Irene just finished some coffee right there. Today is the first day that we're gonna be driving all the way to Oregon. We're actually aiming for Lebanon, Oregon. And yeah. So this is gonna be a three day drive, we're assuming, because we don't wanna drive all day. Every day. Yeah, for two days straight. So we're just gonna drive until we don't feel like driving anymore, pull over, and then uh, start again. Um, if we get about six hours in every day, it should be it should be a three-day drive. Yeah, the um, drive in total is about 20 hours. So. Yeah. So we're currently parked at a Walmart parking lot. We refilled the water, emptied out the gray water, emptied out the toilet. Now we're making breakfast. Oh, we loaded up on groceries too, so we don't have to buy fast food on the drive there. We can actually mm -hmm. have some good food. And we got road snacks. Yeah, we got a lot of road snacks. My favorite are the honey roasted peanuts. Those are my favorite. And Irene jumps between cranberries and these cashews here, so. Let us know in the comments what your favorite road snack is. If anybody was wondering, this is how we cook. It's an old Coleman propane stove from when my dad was in college, I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> this stove is about twice as old as I am. Uh, but it works great. Couldn't ask for better. Well, we've cooked everything on this. I've even roasted a uh, pork roast, or no, a beef roast on this. I used a skillet, raised the meat in foil just off the bottom, and uh, yeah, I was able to cook a whole roast. It's pretty crazy. It took forever and an entire bottle of propane, but it was definitely worth it. It was really good. Yeah, we mixed it in eggs for like three days. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. You ready for a road trip, Jazz? Are you? Are you ready? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? You want a treat? Yeah, I already gave you a dental stick. You want a treat? Get, for, get it, get it. There you go. You want a treat? You want a treat? Oh, you got it. Good girl. Everybody, so we finally made it to the first rest stop. It's 16 degrees outside. Irene's inside of the van because it's cold. That's Jazzy right there. She's running around, letting her go to the bathroom. I'm currently freezing. This is where we're at, right here. They got most of the rest stop closed, so we're just kind of parked right here. But as you can see, all the trucks. We're right off I-80 at some rest stop. I have no idea which one. If you recognize it, comment below. Good morning, everyone. So it's day two of driving to Oregon, and I'm making some coffee right now. Mason's outside walking Jazzy Jazz. It was really crazy windy outside like wait look at that can you see it it's the wind carrying the snow and while they're out there in the windy wind I'm over here making some coffee all right everyone got the gang together and we're ready to hit the road yep Really bright out. 
No, I didn't drink last night. <laughs> you sure? Right, look, this is the road. This is our view. It's literally just windswept snow. So, yeah. How was it this morning? Oh, yeah. It was, uh... So you walk outside this, and you don't think it's that bad, and then you walk around the van where you're unprotected, and in about two seconds you're freezing because it's super cold. Not sure if you can hear us over this wind, but we're currently in Twin Falls, Idaho. Yep. In Idaho? Yep. Yeah, Twin Falls, Idaho. And this is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Hello guys, it's morning. Uh, yeah, morning of the day three. Today's day three? Yeah. It's been a long <laughs> drive. Uh, we did exactly the same thing as we did yesterday morning. Yeah. So, Although yeah. It was really, 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 really windy. Yesterday morning. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday morning and most of the day. Yeah. Most of the drive through Wyoming was ridiculous. Yeah, the van was like swaying. It was a lot of work driving. But today, this is what it looks like. We're in a rest stop in Idaho. Yesterday we got out of Wyoming, went through Utah, just the corner, north corner of Utah, <laughs> and then got into Idaho. So today we're gonna continue through, what state are we in? Idaho. Idaho, and then into Oregon. And uh, we have about nine hours left on the trip, and most of that's gonna be in Oregon, I think. Um, so yeah, pick y'all up when we get to a stopping point or when we're in Oregon or when we're in Oregon or something. Uh, we haven't decided yet if we're going to stop one more time before we get there. It's really easy to stop. You just pull over. So Yeah. Nine hours is a long time. We drove what? About six hours yesterday? Six or seven. Yeah. And that was a lot. Um, yeah. Well, the wind made it really long. So maybe today it'll be less. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully. Anyway. What's up guys? So we just stopped at this Exxon to fill up with gas. I'm trying to pull out. Right over there, there's an army surplus store and they have a freaking tank. Me and Irene were just discussing us having a tank. We're getting a tank. I mean, not right now. <laughs> I have nowhere to put a tank right now, but there's a tank over there. Well, we also did get a rear beer float. Oh, yeah, yeah. But tank. Oh, God. But yes, we did get a rear beer float. 
Root beer float is awesome. Let's see if you can see the tank. I'm gonna drive right by it. Right there. Oh, they got a sail. Surface to air missile launcher right there too. I don't know which one that is. The pink one right here. Right next to the tank? Yeah. stopped uh, we just pulled over into this little turnout on the road um, we're about 30 minutes from Eugene and Springfield which is our destination if we said uh, we were going to Lebanon yeah Lebanon that changed yesterday yeah. on the road we were just like eh, we want to go there we're go here. so anyway yeah we're heading to Eugene and Springfield Oregon um, and we're about 30 minutes out just uh, yeah we're right here on the side of the road so uh, it was pretty noisy but it was all right yeah I don't know if you can hear them passing right now but that was pretty good yeah um, good spot to camp for just one night get, get some sleep but now we're gonna move on go into town scope out the anytime fitness and then uh, Take a shower. Yeah, it's been like four days. Oh, this is day four. Oh, yeah. Day four. Um, but, yeah. We're also going to try to find a better parking spot for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in town.
What's up, guys? Hey. So we're currently making uh, we're making dinner. Um, so today we were supposed to go into Eugene and Springfield in Oregon, and uh, we did. It sucked. Yeah, it really sucked. Like we couldn't do anything. Nothing was open, or at least for dine-in. Yeah. We couldn't go in and access Wi-Fi or anything. No Wi-Fi access. It was literally nothing. Yeah. Um, and it was also really hard to find a parking spot. Like the Walmart didn't allow 24-hour parking, um, and there wasn't there wasn't really anywhere. So we were only there for about two hours, and then uh, yeah, yeah, it was we were only there for like two. One hours. bright side though, um, as soon as we got there to the Anytime Fitness, I found a mushroom. That's true. Yeah. Which we sure. thought was gonna be a good time, but then we were like, eh, no, not really. Yeah, it really sucked. So anyway, we left that. We went to Salem. Pretty awesome. They had the best Lego store I've ever been to, so that was pretty cool. We also picked up some hardware for Irene. For hardware? Pressure cooker. That's hardware. I wouldn't call it. Well, I guess. We, we found some... We got some kitchenware. That's what we did. It's hardware. It's a physical thing you use for work. Hardware. We got some kitchenware called a pressure cooker. It's for her mushroom thing. I'm sure you'll see it in another video. Yeah. Um, oh, and we're almost um, done setting up my van lab. So there will be a video out soon on that. Yep. Uh, but anyway, we're just outside of Salem at a highway rest stop. A really, really nice highway rest stop. Um, mm -hmm. We're just going to make dinner, relax, and then tomorrow we're going to, I guess, continue our journey. We thought we'd be done today, but since that didn't work out, we got to find a spot that works out. And so we're probably just going to explore Portland and enjoy Oregon. Yeah. And uh, eventually find a spot to settle a little bit. So. Yeah. Basically find the spot that allows us to sit, enjoy a small snack or a beverage such as coffee, and access Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's kind of the hunt. You'd think that'd be really easy, but man, yeah. it is difficult. So At least here in Oregon, it's difficult. Here in Oregon, it's difficult. It's a lot easier in Colorado. So, loving Colorado so far. But I can't help it. I love Oregon, too, because if you see the scenery, the greenery, it's just, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Such high green trees, pines. It looks like the movies. Yeah, it's like Twilight. It's a prettier Twilight. <laughs> yeah. With mushrooms. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, we're probably going to end this video here. We could just keep going on our driving adventures, but... Uh, we're, we're, I mean, we're just, just going to be circling right around here, so... Well, this is it. Like, we made it to Oregon. So... Yeah, now we're just in Oregon trying to figure out where to settle, so. Um, we had a crazy road trip. Second day, the winds battered us almost half to death. Views were amazing. What yeah. else did we do? We went to Twin Falls. That was cool. You you saw that. Yeah, I mean, overall, it was a good... It was a good 20-hour drive over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Definitely a few... Definitely a lot of photos and a few memories and some good stories, so. Right. Anyway, see you on the next one. If you guys have any questions about anything, hit us up on the website. Yep, leave a comment. Alright. You want to do that last part again? What? Well, because it's like we were sort of awkward on the last part. The... We're awkward overall. I've kind of accepted the awkwardness. Anyway, how do you want to end it? Um, anyway, we're going to cut it right here. This will probably be the end. If you guys have any questions, the website will be in the description and uh, you can comment and we'll usually answer to that too. But have a good one. Adios. Oh, I covered that up. Do that again. No, it's okay. Just do it. Adios. Adios.